guys around the pump for a bit. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Um, FPC is glad to, to host this memorial battle. Try to do this anytime, anytime somebody in our community has to wait on it. Uh, honor you for your show. Um, so I, what I'm going to do is just going to give everybody an opportunity to say something. If they'd like a story, an anecdote, whatever. Um, start with you if you'd like. Okay, I'm going to tell two stories and definitely I'll wear them on this. Um, when we first met, we were in Asheville. He came up to visit and we were at Honeycomb Road and waiting on us, um, trying to get a table. And we were sitting out front and my legs were sitting on his lap. And these two guys came up and said, how long have y'all been married? And I said, forever. <laughs> <laughs> the other story is that we can weekend. He calls me about 15 minutes after he had um, left. And I said, what's going on? He goes, I don't know how to get out of your parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was an apartment complex and he was lost. <laughs> so anybody that knows Alberta. It was kind of like that on the river, wasn't it? <laughs> directions, directions were not his strong suit. <laughs> I could say something. Yeah. I saw Alberta mostly like at the pool on Fridays in the YMCA and Patricia's too. And, like I swear to God, he would not give up until he got that roll down. You know, like like if I had to pick a word to describe him, it'd be like perseverance, you know, in terms of like kayaks in the world. And, you know, he never gave up and you know that even, you know, the last moment. Exactly. You know? He did roll practice for a while while the pool guy. The flying where the blind is. <laughs> But that's something that, that like, I, I always admire about him. Perfect. In the club. In the club. <laughs> <laughs> I met Alberto at the White Lodge, and I think I gave him his first lesson. And uh, I was struck with his enthusiasm and, like you say, the perseverance. He was, he was certainly a student of the game and was constantly trying to perfect his strokes and was searching after the knife. I met Alberto at the uh, Greenville Wild. He was living in Flat Rock at the time, and uh, Foothills would host him. He was going to both Asheville and Greenville Wild and rolling practice. And I met him, and it was like so he was so enthusiastic and gung ho, and, and it was hard to hard to beat his enthusiasm. And then we, uh, somewhere along the way, we started coming here and doing roll practice, although we weren't rolling. At, in the cove, and then we'd run the river, and uh, so uh, and uh, when we start started to get into like we a lot of us bonded who were like Marty and Paula in the foothills paddling uh, clinics, the rapid progression. And when we got to the third one, you know, the second one, we were at uh, Bryson City. We were doing both Tucker CG on Saturday and Nantahala on Sunday, and Alberto and I. And his first or second wife, I don't remember. <laughs> we shared a room second. together. And all I remember is, how did that snore come out of such a little guy? <laughs> but uh, I also, so I just, you know, I, I talked to Alberta uh, probably once a month, even when I didn't see him on the river. You know, he went up to West Virginia, and then he came back, and, uh, you know, I wasn't ever sure why he went to West, West Virginia. But, they wanted different waters. <laughs> but I, I talked to him uh, early September, as I told you, Paula, and I, I could tell he wasn't, you know, he was weak. I mean, I knew he was getting weaker just when I had seen him on the river, when he went to the crossovers. And, uh, but he said, he said, put down your cow, and we're going to we're, we're paddle on the 27th. And of course, he passed away on the 29th. And uh, it was just, uh, I don't know. That, very sad. It's the, uh, you know, but uh, that's all I would say. I'll take a shot. <laughs> so I met Alberto and you on this river, and it was my first um, trip with the foothills, and I didn't know anybody, and I was real timid, and I always need help with my open boat, and I'm always afraid to ask. But anyway, we did the river. And at the take, I was thinking, oh, I've got to ask somebody to help me with the boat. And I was getting real nervous. And he just, we pulled up 
didn't flinch, comes right up to me, let me help you with that. And we were both struggling up the hill, but I was so touched by his kindness. You know, we didn't know each other from Adam, and he made me feel real welcome in the club, and that really, really hit me deep. And then the last time I saw him in you was on French Broad 9, when we were, I hadn't been on that river in a while, and he was real nervous about running pillow. And he was adamant that he was gonna follow Joe Mount. <laughs> and so at one point, we split off, I went with the rest of the group, and I guess you and he followed Joe Mount. And he was just so happy when he said, ran pillow, or ran pillow. And that's my the last right memory. Way. <laughs> huh? The right way. Yeah. We did a few times the wrong way. <laughs> one of my other memories of talked about Polo was and he did the first RP class at FB9 yeah. and I was in a different group everybody talked about the real river on that rock the rocks on my pillow where you can scout before you can plunge into it and Alberto's in the group going before us and I was watching him and he just when he came over the precipice the drop his eyes were like <laughs> and it, was, it was pure terror on his face but he made it, he made it. anyway uh -huh. well, go ahead Go ahead, Richard. Well, I met, I met Alberto at my second Tatuga Fest. It was the first one we did up at the new campground, Tatuga uh, Sounds. And I didn't I didn't really meet him there. I was just thinking, who's the guy with the camera? And I thought, I didn't even know he was with our group. I thought he was taking uh, campground flyer pictures or something. And then I saw him at the second event, and I knew he was with our group, so I went up and introduced myself. And I I'd only spoke with him a few times. But you always walk off impressed with his genuine niceness and his enthusiasm. He's, he's really stoked about this, this sport. And most of my interactions with him were probably just watching his Facebook posts. And he was really good about telling you his story. I remember seeing him, we, as we were talking about on the way back up here, when he uh, met old man Bayless mm -hmm. in the Ingalls parking lot. Mm -hmm. You read that post. Were you with him? Well, I, yeah, I read that. And I was like, man, he, he looks like a little kid that just opened his Christmas present or something like that. So that's, how, that's my experience with Alfred. Well, I'll, pig, I'll piggyback a little bit on Thomas and Jim's, but uh, anybody that's ever been through with Foothills and been through the RP training, uh, and there's several in this group here that did and have, and uh, you just bond with bond with people. It's it, it, it's very just a very good good sport, uh, a good way to bond with people, and 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 everybody propping up everybody, and everybody's new new to the whitewater sport for the most part. And uh, Alberto, we met him, and I have to piggyback on that, his, his, his enthusiasm for the sport and his continuing up to his last days wanting to paddle again and, and wanting to continue to hone his skills and uh, never, never give up. And it, it's just something about that. He didn't never want anybody to understand or feel sorry for him for his illness and i think that's why he was a little standoffish at the end and uh but he's just a great person to get to know always offering any type of advice or anything that he had learned through some of these guys training and and role techniques and you know you just couldn't ask for a better uh better friend and a better uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, advocate for the sport mm -hmm. and uh, he will certainly be missed and we all need to remember him out here on the water and say a little prayer to ourselves if we so like and, and, and thank him for his contribution to the sport. Does uh, anybody know what hour he got for disease? I mean, I know a lot of people here do. It was all caused by Agent Orange. And right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so he, you know, that was a war casualty 40 years yes. later. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. He, uh, he served our country, served our country well, and we need to respect that. And, 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 Bill, and Bill Mason, remember Joe Mason? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Joe was also in the Marine Corps, dude. Yeah. And Joe had told me that Alberto told him that uh, when he was in Vietnam, you know, he was, because the little wiry guy was in pain. Yeah. And, uh, he got severely wounded. I'm not sure how, but I never they pulled that. him out of the tank and did emergency surgery in a rice pan. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, that's what Joe told me. So, I mean, huh. Sure. Probably is. <laughs>
But, and it's uh, photography. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that stuff. Yeah, we visit him at their home. And I guess you, you ought to have a, a, a gallery or something. Almost, yeah. He actually has the website. I'll share the website. He's got yeah. so yeah. many good pictures. Of, uh, and of course, that, that self portrait he did, the black and white, oh, and he yeah. just you wanted know, a young guy. Back when it was really good. Before selfies, right? Yeah. Before <laughs> selfies, right? <laughs> Yeah, he certainly will be certainly be missed. And hope everyone supports Patricia in the days ahead. And I know she wants to continue to paddle and be part of this club and be part of the sport. So we're gonna include her in all our days ahead. So anybody else? I just wanna say I thank God for bringing Alberta into my path, a journey along life's way. You know, me and him had some stuff in common. He liked photography, I do too. And and I met him when Richard met him up at the Chattooga Fest, the first first one I attended. And then we was in RP for a little bit and I just got to know him over the years and he made it look forward to coming to any event you knew he was gonna be there. And I just thank him for being in my life. I always remember another thing about him, if I could jump in. Especially you remember this. Whenever I, I would see him in the last year especially, I would give him a big bear hug and lift him off the ground and he goes, Jimbo, you how you doing you big galoot? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. I'd like to say something. I'm not part of this group. I was I wanna be and I'm gonna join. But um, we met our Alberto uh, through a meetup. We had not paddled in years. Mm -hmm. We moved here and wanted to see I, Paddle with you, Jimbo. Okay. Yes, yeah, Robin. <laughs> and um, and so we went on a trip with Patricia and Alberto and Jimbo and a couple of other people. And he he is so generous and so kind. And he just really wanted us to get back into the sport. Because like you said, you know, he just thinks everybody should paddle. And so um, you know, he took us to Sparkleberry and you know, he just and we lost touch with him. Life we happened. Did it. Hike from hell to the nearest. We did. They took us down there. I'm not oh. sure if that means we're still their friends, but um, <laughs> and we lost touch. Life happened, and we did. And we, um, unfortunately, by the time we got back in touch, Alberto wasn't well enough to join us on the last paddling trip we did with Patricia. But you know, I, I, we were just talking back and forth on the meetup. I wanted to be sure he understood that we hadn't paddled in a long time, and he was. I told my husband, I said, we found the right guy. And he's so safety conscious and he's so caring. And he's just a great person to go down the river with. Yeah. We're going to miss him. Hey, I'd like to end this in a, in a humorous note. I met Alberta several years ago, right here. And I had never done the river. I hadn't been in a kayak in probably 10 years. I had a little toy kayak with an imitation skirt. <laughs> and got in the water and Alberta immediately introduced himself to him. Started giving me pointers on the river. <laughs> and by the time we got 500 foot down the river, I was scared to death. <laughs> and I finally, I didn't know anybody there, and I finally traveled up to this guy that seems like he knew what he was doing. I said, this isn't the narrows, is it? <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, I, I, I got a very good daddy trip out of here. Okay? I say in the words of Alberto, let's dance.